Hello buddies, today I'm going to be showing you how to make washi, so let's get started. So you'll need two cups of flour, three tablespoons of oil, one cup of warm water and half a teaspoon of salt. Now pour your flour into a bowl and make a little dip. Making a little dip is where you're going to add in your oil and your salt. Once you've done that, just give that a little mix of a, a spoon. We're using this type of spoon or you can use a wooden spoon. Once you've finished mixing it, get your warm water ready and start to pour it into your flour. This will have to be quick otherwise it will go all cloggy. But be careful, only add a little bit at a time because if you add in the whole cup, it can be too wet. If you're adding a bit at a time, mix it and then you'll see if it's too dry or too wet and you just carry on until you get to the perfect dough. Make sure you mix it very well though, otherwise you're not sure if it's too dry or too wet. So this is, it can be quite hard. Now once you've done that, use your fingers to scrape off the spoon. You may think this will be very messy, but it won't. If you've done it the right measurement, you can use your hands. It looks a bit messy, but once you've kneaded it all in, it'll all come into one whole dough. Just to let you know, when I did it, I used two tablespoons of oil. But I recommend that you use three tablespoons of oil because the dough is slightly harder. If you use three tablespoons of oil, it'll be a lot um, softer. And I'm using olive oil. So once you think your dough is there and it's a bit harder to use a spoon, just use your hands. Just put it on a clean surface and just start to knead it. And I use two tablespoons of olive oil, but I recommend you use three tablespoons because then it is a lot softer. Your hands might get full of dough, but once you've kneaded it well, it'll all come off. Make sure you use all the flour from your bowl so that, um, so that you're not wasting anything. So once your dough is nice and soft, start to roll it very long like mine is. Also, if you want to find something that goes really well with Roshi, look in the description below and I've got a really nice recipe, which is called Must Honey. This is a traditional Maldivian um just a type of food that we have now cut it with a knife half and then just roll it out again and then you can cut it into little dough balls now once you've done that get your dough and try and roll it like I am just squish it all together and then it's nice and soft also have some extra flour to put onto your board when you roll it out you don't need this special type of board thing but you can just do it on your surface when you're rolling it flatten it down first and then roll it twice when I mean that, roll it two times and then flip it over, and then two times and flip it over until you get the size you desire. Now I'm using this type of pan. This is a Moldavian pan that we use, but you can also use something similar to this and you'll need this type of utensil to flip it or a tongue. 
Now once it's warm, put your rashi on. I've got it on medium heat. Just to let you know, when you put it on, when you do your first one, this will take slightly longer, but the second one will take a lot quicker and a lot nicer. Now when little bubbles start to show, just flip it over. Right, this is the second one, and you can see how much it's bubbling up. That means it's good and the bubbles will cook it. Also, put it in a nice pot so you can keep it warm with a plate on top and the lid. But if you don't have a lid, just put a, a cloth on top. Like I have here, I've got a plate underneath and I've got my lid as well. Hope you enjoy this. Please look at my other video where you can find how to make mousseline and it's a perfect match.